Hey guys, it's Darren from TCG Buzz, and today I'm going to be opening this bad boy. It's the Bakugan Battle Pack with the Pyrus, Max Torn, Aquas, Mantanoid, Ultras. Um, it also comes with three other Bakugan. Um, from what I can see, it comes with, uh, looks like Pegatrix, I think. Uh... Hi, uh, uh, Hyderus, and I think that's Nilius. I'm not 100% sure. Well, let's get right into this. So here we have the front of the box. And then we have the back of the box. This thing comes with 10 Baku cores. Pretty excited about that. I see some tape. I'm going to get right into this guy. All right, let's pull this baby open. Hope I probably flipped it over this side. All right, and then I'm not gonna do what some of the YouTubers that I've seen do, where we, uh, where they are like, "Oh my God, I'm gonna rip the cards." Dude, it's just a cover. Here's the cards. We'll look at those after looking at the Baku cores. Let's just get everything out of here. And let's shove this aside. All right, let's look at some of these Baku cores. So we have just a green fist that is plus 100B. And it is Pyrus and Darkest plus three attack. Here we have a fire, f or not a fire fist, a green fist plus 50B plus two attack. Another green fist plus 50 plus two. Blue shield minus 400B, good trap. A green fist minus two attack. Uh, that's an okay trap. Blue shield plus 500B. And they switch it up on us because I don't know. Oh, man. nothing's consistent in these boxes. Then we have a green fist that's plus 100B. Darkest aquas plus three attack. Uh, a yellow shield plus 50B plus one attack. A yellow shield plus 200B. And a Fire Fist, plus six attack. Yikes. All right, let's open up this little card package. And all of these sets are the same that I've seen. So if you really want to get all of the cards, all of the cores and everything, you know, that you see here, just get this same exact set. So we get an instruction manual plus... Um, little list on what you have, and another looks like just for the quick game, and another instruction manual. So we have the character card, Mantanoid Ultra. It takes the blue shield and a green fist, plus, or it's a 400B three attack card. This is the guy that I'm looking forward to running right now. Um, we have a Pegatrix. It's a uh, blue shield, uh, yellow attack, or yellow shield, 300B, and if it lands on a blue shield, plus 200B for attack. A Pyrus Maxtor Ultra, this is kind of one of the reasons I also bought it. The two Ultras are exciting for me. Um, the Red Fist gives it plus 2 attack, but only has 100B for attack to start with. Yeah. Fangzor, we have 100B and 7 attack. Domination, if your Bakugan holds the most Bakugan cores, plus 400B, I guess that makes up for it. Hydrus, two green fists that are needed to use Hydrus. 300B, 4 attack. 
And then the ability cards are Repel Pyrus, Stop Pyrus for no cost. And then we have Halt Unknown, which halts or stops uh, Pyrus, I mean not Pyrus, Darkus and Aquas for one cost. Prismatic Shield, I could use a few more of these, or you know, a couple more of those. Inspire, plus one attack, draw a card for plus one, and a Magma Boost. This card's going to be excessively common, I have a feeling. So let's get a look at some of these Bakugan. So let's look at the core right now. So I'm going to get all three of these guys. Dalton was so nice to get these guys out because these guys can be kind of tough to get out. So the first one I'm going to want to look at closely is the Darkest Hydrus. So I'm just going to take a random core here and... I mean, this, this is the first Bakugan we're looking at on this channel. <laughs> Darkest Hydrus. He's a very weak boy. With uh, 300B. Wanted to find it. He has little Foley out feet. Had some comments of someone saying this looks like a platypus. I don't see the platypus, but yet I do, but yet I don't. All right, how easy is it for us to crunch this little guy back up into his ball? Nice. I don't feel like rolling and missing for the next half hour. Oh, there we go. So we have Hyderus. Let's look at the Fangzor next. So let's get a random core again. And this guy's pretty cool, I guess. He just is two halves of his ball, and come on, my dude. Come on, my dude. What's going on here? Got his face in there. There we go. There he closes. Let's see if I can roll it on. That was a fail. Try one more time. If I don't, then I'll just plop it on. This is the weak boy of the box. 100B. That's that's a major oof. All right, let's put this guy back into ball form, and then whoop. All right, let's put him aside. And the Pegatrix. Let's pop this guy on open. I I honestly seeing this online and seeing people open. Pegatrix, I didn't like it because I'm just like, it's a really, really fat unicorn. Or Pegasus. Yeah, because it says Pegatrix. And yeah, it's 300B. Um, I, I like it because it's easy to transform. Really fun. So I'm missing, even though I'm like, mathematically trying to get him lined up. All right, and I really like this guy now that I actually have it in my hands. Cause you can fly away. Yeah, that was really weird. Close it on up. And then, find a little thing and pop. All right, let's look at the ultras. I've been having really bad trouble with getting these out of these little bubbles. Just a push and a pull at the same time. Whoa. Oh no. Uh oh. He's trying to kick himself in the face, but I think that was just because it slipped out of the plastic. All right, let's look at Mantinor, Ma Maxator. I'm going to try to put him in without, without instructions. 
I've seen this guy get put into ball form so many times online that I'm just like, okay, this, guy, this guy's pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy. Pull this back. It's like the most unorthodox way of putting these Bakugan back into their ball form. All right. Crunch them all up. There we go. Nice. The ball, I, I, his spherical form has a lot of holes. Um, but let's pop him open with another B core, with another Baku core. Let's see, I believe Makakor has his right here, so bah. Not doing some incredible flip action. Feet fold out. And then stands. I really like these. These feel like they're little nice little action figures. They're like, he, he has his little arm, but he weirdly tries to put his arm behind his back. Yeah, Max Tor Ultra 100B. This is this Ultra is not very Ultra, but he looks cool. All right, let's put him aside. And let's see. This is the guy I was the most excited for. Was Mantanoid Ultra. And this one is the one that I probably need instructions, but I'm gonna try to put them together without them. <laughs> this is proving to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. A little pain in the butt. Fold. Fold that and fold that. You learn that I don't have the most dexterity in my fingers. Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. All right. The magnet's on his abdomen here. I like the ball on this one. And let's see. Find his abdomen and. Then flip. Probably has to have a little bit of a roll. This guy is so cool. Little antennas. Little antennas. Is that as far as his antennas move? Oops. I'm not going to reef on it. This, though, what is going on here? Oh, I see. It's more or less the bug butt part. Is real cool. 400B. Yeah, so we have these two guys and these three cores. They all look pretty fantastic. Some of them feel a little cheaper plastic than others for some reason. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the molding and the lack of detail, but. I'm really enjoying these. And I didn't need these instructions, but I'm going to use a checklist on the back so that I can make sure that I know what's coming up and what I want to collect. And yeah, and here's the quick rule where it's just the toy battling and not the card game, which we might have to bring you some of the just toy game just so that you can see the difference. If you like this episode, make sure to hit the subscribe the bell so you don't miss out. Uh, we have a shop. Yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. And a Discord. And an Instagram. 
Dalton's giving me hand signals to help me because I'm just having the biggest brain fart right now. So yeah, we'll see you in the next unboxing.